actually going to share a couple of resources. Uh, for the past couple of weeks, the show has been offering resources, not just for people with disabilities, but in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. So we're offering community resources as well. Today I'm going to go over a couple of resources and make a couple of announcements and provide some updates on some information that I've already provided in the past. Uh, just some new information on, in addition to what we've already provided. Um, today I'm going to resource um, housing, some mental health resources, some educational resources, and as I mentioned before, some updates. So I'd like to first um, provide you with some news about um, our expansion in the Interconnections Network. We're now podcasting, so we can also be found in podcast format for um, anyone who would enjoy listening to the show outside of the normal programming hours. We're also on YouTube, and that resource for the podcast information will be provided at the end of the show in the credits. Uh, what we've decided to do in our podcast is not only provide the show in audio, but also a new segment to the show. Um, anyone who's followed the show on the Interconnections YouTube page, um, we have uh, uploaded the YouTube videos on our channel, but you know, as I mentioned, we're going to be podcasting not just the episodes, but a new segment, and that segment is going to be called Monica's Monday Morning Motivational Message, and it's going to consist of a review of um, quotes and some insight and information, some thoughts, as well as uh, guidance. During the segment, we're also going to offer some deep breathing skills, uh, meditation, and relaxation. So, you know, coming soon, <laughs> I hope to see you all on the page and joining us in podcast as well. We decided to expand and add that in, into uh, our platform in addition to what we're already doing in response to uh, the stressors and tension right now, we just want to offer some support. So that's uh, coming from the Interconnections Network. Today I wanted to offer um, a couple of mental health resources in addition to the mental health resources I've offered in the past. Uh, that's going to include Suicide Prevention Line, that telephone number is 1-800-273-8255. The Sexual Assault Hotline, that telephone number is 1-800-656-4673. The Domestic Violence Hotline, that telephone number is 1-800-799-7233. The Substance Abuse Helpline. That telephone number is 1 800 662 4357. And lastly, the Self Harm Text Line. Text CONNECT in quotes to 741741. I thought I wanted to um, just review those resources in addition to what I've already provided because there's uh, alarming numbers in the statistical data regarding um, all of these initiatives and I just wanted to be a support and try to offer whatever I could to help those in need. The next topic of discussion um, and resource that we will be providing is for housing. Um, I don't know how many of you are aware, there was um, 
a halt on evictions and court proceedings up until August 31st of 2020. So if you are facing eviction or possible eviction, I just wanted to offer you an update on that information. There's been an extension. So now um, eligible renters still have to pay the full amount that they owe uh, in their rent, but you'll have until January of 2021. Uh, the CDC is spearheading this initiative. The article was written by AARP, or put out by AARP. Um, they state in the article, I just wanted to pull this up for you. Uh, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services says the Public Health Service Act. So you might want to Google that uh, to get more information about what I'm speaking on. And... Um, it's called the Public Health Service Act, and it, give, it gives the CDC the authority to issue this order. So that's how the initiative has been spearheaded. And um, they're actually stating that they have a form. So again, I'm scrolling through because um, the CDC has a form on their page that will um, allow you to print out and submit to your landlord explaining your current situation. So you have something in writing, a written document that um, allows, your, allows your landlord um, to receive information from you in reference to your current employment status, and also in response to your inability to cover the cost of your rent uh, for for the property you're living on. And one of the one of the things that they shared because of the amount of money that could possibly be owed um, up until January of 2021. What they're suggesting is to work out some kind of an agreement with your landlord to pay whatever you can possibly pay so that will allow you um, to kind of lower the expense um, by January 2021. For those of you who are aware of the uh, information I've given in the past about the COVID-19 rent relief, um, initiative that's from the DHCR and what they're actually doing is helping to cover the cost of rent for um, people who are in financial distress as a result of the COVID-19 um, pandemic so the cost of rent for April May June July is being reviewed by the DHCR. If you've submitted an application at this point, you should have heard something. Whether it's the initial review or initial screening, they're in the beginning stages and requesting additional documentation. So if they are asking you to submit additional documentation, there's also a time limit on um, the period in which you have to turn the documents around and you can either upload or um, mail them to them. So follow the instructions and the directives that are being given and please use the information that's being provided. They also have a 1-800 number. I will provide that number uh, towards the end so that everyone has the information uh, required to follow up on whatever application process you're, you're in to help you with your rent. The second resource is 311. Again, if you're already homeless, um, 311 can direct you to shelters. Um, I always say contact 311 
the next topic of discussion and resource is um, for school age children and this is the pandemic EBT for New York City residents. So I've mentioned this before. I just wanted to provide um, an update as well on this um, resource. So for those who didn't see it on the previous episodes, it's an initiative for families who have school-aged children to compensate for the free lunch program um, in the absence of the children being in school. It's supposed to be on a prepaid card. Card amount um, should be, if not fully, $420 for, for each school-aged child. That's the the number that they're giving. Um, So they had different criteria. They broke down who's going to receive the benefit first, how they're going to receive it. So for people who have had um, SNAP benefits, public assistance, and Medicaid, um, they were receiving the benefits through those means. For those who haven't received it yet, uh, they do have a telephone number. So I'm going to provide a picture of the resource that I've received. And it states, all families who have not yet received their PEBT benefits will receive them in the mail this month, meaning September. Uh, If you do not get anything in the mail by September 15th, so that's the day, September 15th, if you have not received your $420 PEBT card, if you don't have Medicaid, you don't have SNAP, and you don't have public assistance, they will be sending a prepaid card, so look out for that. I'm not sure uh, because... They haven't really been clear in the correspondence um, that's been communicated to me whether it's going to be in the name of the child or the parent. So look for either name. The telephone number, if you have not received your card by the 15th of September, please call 646-355-1475. And this is for Hunger Free America. So again, that number is 646-355-1475. And I also wanted to offer um, an email address to follow up on your benefit. The email address is otda, all lowercase, dot sm lowercase dot eisp lowercase dot pebt let me say that again for you otda lowercase dot sm lowercase dot e-i-s-p lowercase dot p-e-b-t that's all uppercase and the exchange is at o-t-d-a dot n-y dot gov so again you can email them to find out what the status is on your p-e-b-t card as well as contacting them by phone at 646-355-1475 if you're in need of food and you have not received this benefit as of yet you can also apply for SNAP benefits through HRA you can contact 311 and if you have a senior in your house and you're in need of meals or food contact 311 and ask for the Get Food NYC initiative. 
they do have some other resources out there um, based on medical conditions. Seniors are allowed to apply for uh, food delivery service through God's Love We Deliver, as well as the uh, Meals on Wheels. So I'm not sure in terms of districts, zip codes, how that's separated, but once you apply, they can direct you. So again, you can look at God's Love We Deliver. They do have a website as well. I'll provide that information. And Meals on Wheels through Catholic Charities. The next topic of discussion and resource is for um, education. So I came across um, some apps um, specifically for different disabilities or diagnoses. So we have apps for dyslexic learners, we have apps for autistic learners, we have apps for the visually impaired, and apps for learners with writing difficulties. So I'm actually, instead of sitting and trying to go through each one, I'll just briefly run over a couple of them from each app resource. So we have Sounds Literacy. That's under Dyslexic Learners. What is Dyslexia? Dyslexia Quest. Happy Math Multiplication Rhymes. Rhyme. Read to me. Phonics with Phonogram. Apps for Autistic Learners. Let's skip down a little bit. We have sight words. We have sequences for autism. We have see, touch, learn, words on wheels, verbal me. We'll skip down to apps for the visually impaired. And we have dragon dictation, light detector, color ID, Tap, tap, see. Be my eyes, helping blind see. And again, as I said, there are other resources uh, in addition to those. Excuse me. In addition to those that were listed. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about the plans for the schools. The next topic of discussion and resource is year two education and special needs resources. Uh, the challenges for children at home. I know, you know, I've received quite a few messages about um, during the pandemic how difficult it's been and stressful it's been um, having the children in the home around the clock during a pandemic. And oftentimes a lot of the apps that we normally use um, they've used them multiple times and they've repeated the same instruction over and over again. So one of the resources that were provided to me uh, was several apps um, geared to specific disabilities and diagnosis. So there are apps here for dyslexic learners, apps for autistic learners, apps for the visually impaired, apps for learners with writing difficulties. So I'll give you a couple of them from each category. And we have um, under apps for dyslexic learners, we have sounds literacy. We have what is dyslexia. We have dyslexia quest. Happy Math Multiplication Rhymes, Rhymes, Read to Me. Under Apps for Autistic, we're going to skip down. We have Sight Words, Sequences for Autism, See, Touch, Learn, Words on Wheels, Verbal Me. 
Let's get down to the app for the visually impaired. And we have Dragon Dictation. We have Light Detector. Color ID. Tap Tap C. Be My Eyes. Helping Blind C. Talking Calculator. So again, as I mentioned, um, we're going to have this up in the end and we just wanted to offer some alternatives some options for our students at home with special needs that need some help um, one of the other things um, I wanted to share that I've received as a resource was uh, virtual interactive classes and they have a variety of classes. They have Zumba, budgeting, cooking, meditation, formal dining prep, um, podcasting, line dancing. Um, and that contact information is 1-888-213-5123. These are for the children who are really looking forward to some social, interac social interaction and um, maybe meeting new friends online and keep keeping them engaged and connected in different activities. And the name of the organization is Peace Mentoring. P.E.A.C.E. Mentoring. So again, they have uh, some fall community classes if anyone is looking for something different to do or something to get our students engaged in um, due to the pandemic. I just wanted to let you know, classes are held on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and the cost of the classes start at $30 if you're interested. If you're looking for some alternatives and financially you're unable to um, invest or participate in the activity that I've just provided, please check the Department of Education's website for children with special needs. Please check with your Office for People with Developmental Disabilities, as well as your school's website. Network with your um, team at your children's school. They might have handouts and things that they can scan over to you as well as offer some free apps that might be accessible right now. And my go-to all the time is 311. They might be able to help you with a community resource, something free or some guidance that's being offered um, for the children while they're home. School is not scheduled to start in New York City, New York State Public Schools until September 21st. And I always recommend using free apps and engaging your children in whatever they can learn using workbooks. Um, you can purchase workbooks in Staples. You can purchase workbooks uh, in your community stores, local stores. Uh, just to keep them brushed up on their skills. Uh, another resource I, I know has been extremely beneficial has been IXL. Our next topic and resource that I'm going to be offering, these were two miscellaneous items uh, that I came across. One was uh, supportive services for veteran families, and this resource is actually for veterans who have fallen behind on their rent. So they're giving support services for veteran families. You need to Google that. NYC. NYC. Support services for veteran families. And there's a criteria. I'm also going to provide um, the contact information based on the agency that's supporting and helping our veterans with addressing their rent needs, their financial needs. 
and I just wanted to mention one more thing. Um, I got an update about the $300 initiative proposed for unemployment. So for people who are currently receiving unemployment and meet the criteria that's going to be outlined um, to determine whether you're eligible for the additional $300. My understanding right now, and I will update that information as I receive the information, is that there's a cap of $1,800. In closing, I always like to end with a quote. And I always try to choose quotes that are addressing um, current issues in the media, in politics, in um, all that we endure. I found two James Baldwin quotes that I thought um, you'll be able to decipher based on the wording. It is certain in any case that ignorance allied with power is the most ferocious enemy justice can have. And again, that's from James Baldwin. The second one is also from James Baldwin. The paradox of education is precisely this, that as one begins to become conscious, one begins to examine the society in which he is being educated. And again, that's by James Baldwin. This is the Interconnections Network. Thank you for joining us today. Be well.